Hello everyone, I am Habiba, a research assistant in Precision Medicine Lab, Peshawar, Pakistan. Today I will brief you about the project that I have been working on, which is comparative analysis of HPV human protein inter interaction network in oropharyngeal and oral squamous. So oropharyngeal squamous cell carcinoma is basically a subset of the oral cancer and its cases are increasing worldwide, specifically in the young male population. Uh, the underlying reasons basically include tobacco and alcohol uses, but now HPV is more established factor. Among the different HPV subtypes, HPV-16 is the most significant risk factor in the initiation and progression of OPSCC. Here we have utilized the protein-protein inter interaction networks, which basically tell us the physical interactions between HPV and humans, and we have linked it which, with the key proteins of OPSCC and OSCC cancer genes. The objectives of our study were to identify the key genes in OPSCC and OSCC, obtain the protein-protein interaction network between the human and HPV proteins, and then ad identify the interaction between HPV proteins and cancer proteins of OPSCC and OSCC. Uh, and uh, another one was to study the molecular significance of common interaction interacting key genes between OPSCC, OSCC with HPV protein. First of all, what I did was uh, to uh, obtain HPV and human protein-protein inter interaction data, I utilized the BioCrit database. Uh, then I identified the key genes for OPSCC and OACC utilizing different databases. These included GDC, NIH, COSMIC, and CBIO portal. Um, I also did some literature review so I can uh, identify some genes from there. Uh, the third thing uh, what I did was was to uh, use the cytoscape and build a protein-protein inter interaction network of HPV and human and visualize the OPSCC and OSCC genes in it and then analyze it. By utilizing BioGrid, I initially came up with 467 human proteins that were interacting with HPV and utilizing the other databases and the literature review, I came up with 33 OSCC and 119 OPSCC key proteins. The next step was to find out the common proteins between OPSCC, OSCC and HPV human. For that purpose, I utilized the Venn diagram. Here in this Venn diagram, it is shown that OPS, between OPSCC and HPV human uh, proteins, there were six common proteins. Uh, these were JAK1, RB1, CDK4, PML, MIC and ZBTB16. Uh, there are two common proteins between OSCC dataset and HPV human. Uh, these are SMAT4 and TRAF3. And between the OPSCC and OSCC, uh, along with HPV human BPI, there are three common proteins. Uh, then I built a protein-protein interac interaction network uh, of HPV human network uh, of HPV human interaction data, uh, which also showed the common OPSCC and OSCC proteins in it. Uh, here uh, it is shown uh, with different colors. Uh, then the enrichment analysis for the six proteins that were found common to be between the OPSCC and HPV human dataset uh, were carried out by using NRHR. Uh, here I have shown the GEC pathway analysis, the GO ontology for the molecular function, cellular component, and biological component. Also, uh, at the bottom of the slides, NETR statistics for these six proteins are shown. Uh, so basically, the outcomes uh, that we have achieved are uh, we uh, identified 33 key genes for OSCC and 119 for OPSCC. Uh, then we built a protein-protein interaction network between HPV and human proteins by using the BioCrit database. Uh, the network that we came up with after using cytoscape included of 479 nodes and 504 edges. Um, the network showed six OPSCC key genes proteins interacting with HPV proteins, while two OPSCC proteins were found uh, targeted by HPV proteins. And three common protein interactions were found between OP, uh, HPV proteins and OPSCC and OSCC. Additionally, uh, the protein-protein interaction network found that as compared to OSCC, HPV is a more significant and established factor in OPSCC. Uh, what we want to achieve in the future is basically to experimentally validate this data uh, that the role of these proteins in the initiation and progression of OPSCC. Thank you very much. In the end, I would like to acknowledge um, 
the principal investigator of the Precision Medicine Lab, Dr. Faisal Khan, and my teammates, uh, Mariam Shah and Abdul Salam, who helped me throughout this project. Thank you so much.